Well, I'm here with my personal leaning post to talk about the most challenging part of any trail, not the uphill. Uphills are actually not that hard as long as you take your time and keep your head down and keep moving straight ahead. But it's the downhill portion of a trail that will usually require the most effort or at least the most thought to keep yourself safe and to make sure you can continue along. If you've got a hiking pole, put it on the downhill side of your body and turn your body. I like to think of it as if I were on a chairlift and I went up to a ski slope that's a little too steep. I'd turn around and sidestep down the mountain. That's exactly what I want you to do as well. Whether or not you've got a pull, turn your feet sideways and begin walking. This will take a little longer and it doesn't look as pretty, but it's a lot better looking than having to wipe the red rock off your behind because you slipped. If you've got a pull, plant it hard, lean right into it, and do it first before you take that step. Finally, if you take smaller steps, it will help you feel more secure as you go down the mountain. Now some people slip, and that's fine. Slipping won't make you fall, it's slipping and panicking. And frankly, in an area like this, it's pretty easy to slip. The dirt can be loose. So do watch carefully when you're on a red rock slope with not a lot of good steps to walk on.